Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you today? My name is Achola. If you are new here, welcome to the family here on Achola's Closet. We talk personal style, fashion, and just how to look and feel your best at whatever budget. And um, speaking of budgets, today I thought I would share with you guys my favorite tips and tricks of shopping and shopping on a budget and still look like a million bucks um, please watch until the end of the video because i have a little surprise giveaway for one of you guys it's just to say thank you for watching and for those of you who have subscribed to my channel thank you so much i appreciate you um honestly i cannot thank you enough so let's just dive into the video. So my number one tip is to save your money and shop during mid-season sale or end of the season sales. I know you're probably wondering, well, I'm not going to have enough time to wear all of these pieces during the season. That's okay. I don't know about you, but for me personally, I like to buy things that I really love and that I know I am going to wear them for years to come and not so much just trend pieces because you know trends they come and they go like crazy and there's really no point of spending so much money on an item just to wear it for one season and then get rid of it if that makes any sense right um, but no I am NOT about that life um, you're probably with me on this we don't have that extra money to kind of just spend and buy things every single season or every year ain't nobody got time for that like I'm sorry but no so I buy things that I really love and that I'm going to wear for years not just for now and then get rid of it um, and that brings us to my tip number two and that is setting a budget for yourself and what i mean by that is just set a budget in your mind as to how much you would like to spend on an item or how much can you really spend on that dress that you really love like for me personally i've told myself i'm not spending over a hundred dollars on a blazer with jeans i can go up to sixty dollars seventy dollars maybe a lot of the times i buy my jeans for like under thirty dollars um, same thing with skirts and tops dresses it doesn't really matter uh, when it comes to designers though it's a little bit different uh, and after three years of kind of buying into the luxury designer brands I realized that certain things I can budget for differently so for example the accessories like earrings and whatnot the most I want to pay for a designer earring is like $60 and if I really love it I can push that to like let's say $80 at most I'm not paying a hundred dollars for a pair of earrings no uh, same thing with clothes so when it comes to like jackets and skirts and whatnot I have a certain price for that and then same thing with shoes now you guys remember this baby right I know my uh, hip high white project boots now this one here original price was about fourteen hundred dollars so i told myself that the most i was going to pay for it is seven hundred dollars and that's the most i was going to go because i really love those boots and but i also told myself that if it sells out before they go to seven hundred dollars then that's okay too i'm not gonna cry i won't be sad I mean good I will save my $700 I waited um, I think it was like literally end of the season nearly end of the season um, it went on sale for $5.99 and I kid you not less than 10 days later price dropped to $199 
luckily I've kept my receipt and I was able to do a price adjustment on that so I got the difference back which was super nice my point is to just budget budget and try to stick to that that way you don't go over budget if you budget let's say okay I can pay only ten dollars maybe twenty dollars on a dress I mean you don't have to buy brand new in the store you can literally shop pre-love you can go thrift shopping you can also go on sites like the Rio real where they sell designer it's a designer consignment store it's one of the biggest ones online too so you can just order them and then they send them to you things there literally starts at like twenty dollars so if you're looking for some luxury designer names just go on the real real and find yourself some bargains uh, and that brings me to tip number three now for tip number three again buying pieces that you really love and not so much because of trend I know I already said that with tip number one but it's supposed to be a different tip on its own so here um, for me personally I like to buy pieces that I love and again that I'm going to wear for years I remember I think back in early 2000s my favorite store to go to was um, BCBG Max Azure and every time I'll go into BCBG I'll put on one of the dresses on sale or not I just I felt like a million bucks in most of the BCPG dresses and um, I ended up paying over a hundred dollars on those dresses only because I really love them and I like the way they made me feel too you know when certain clothes when you put them on it gives you a different feelings like as a personal shopper myself I can tell now when a customer is trying on an item you can see it on their face and the body language if it's if it doesn't feel comfortable and like them you see it the way they react to it the way their face kind of they don't, they don't even notice they're making all of these faces but you can you can see they're just not feeling comfortable in the item whereas when they put on something that feels amazing on you can also tell they come out walking a little more straight their shoulder is back head is straight up you, they just walk differently they smile differently and that's what you are looking for in clothes because years down the line you're still going to gravitate towards those pieces and you're still going to want to wear them and that's what you want for your bucks um, and with that it brings us to my tip number four now tip number four it is to build a friendship with sales associates in your favorite store um, if you love shopping at Zara or if you love shopping let's say a whole rent fruit you like Simon's build a friendship with associates um, be kind to people don't be one of those rude customers that comes in and just throw clothes on the floor I I experience everything as a sales associate I had customers that will come into the fitting room and just try them on clothes and leave them on a pile for you it's not a cute look like that customer I will never liked her after that uh, <laughs> so the point is to just be kind to your sales associates be nice to them um, because when you are friendly and nice to your sales associates when those items go on sale you're going to be the first person on their mind to call because you know you've been so nice and they already know what you like and what you wanted from the get-go so as soon as the price drops they are going to put on the side and give you a call so please 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 be kind to your sales associates and build friendship with them which brings us to our final tip number five and that is to have an open mind when you go to the stores during the sales season 
because a lot of the time, especially the luxury designer department stores, when you go in, a lot of the sizes are going to be gone, <laughs> but that's okay. Not to worry, if there is a size up, still give it a try. Like I said, there are seamstresses in a lot of the retail stores now, and if there are no seamstresses there as well, that's okay. You can go find a tailor that will fix that for you and just tailor to your body. It even fits better than the original design. So it is very important to have an open mind when you go into the stores during the season sale. If you like it, just give it a try. Don't mind the size, just see how it fits. And then if it needs some alterations or adjustments, you can absolutely do that. To make it fit you perfectly. And my bonus tip is to just shop around. Don't wait until you have an event to go shopping because I cannot tell you how many times I've seen customers coming into the store looking for an item that they want to wear for an event that's like tomorrow or on the weekend and they can't find it anywhere. They're like, I've been shopping around, I just cannot find a dress to wear to this event. I should have bought that dress last time when I was here, or like, I should have bought that dress from like last season when it was still here, but it's too late now. And so my point is to just go and shop around, buy things that you, when you see something that you really like and the price is within your budget, pick that item, put it in your closet, because you never know. I always tell my clients the occasion or the event will come where you are going to wear that dress. So it is better to have it than not have it and then struggle to find it later down the road. Now to our surprise little giveaway. Now, if you know me personally, you know I design. I do a little bit of African contemporary wear. And recently, I got into making bow ties and neckties that comes with matching pocket squares. And so for this video giveaway, I thought what's a better way than gifting one of you out there this beautiful handmade by me bow tie just as a thank you for your support and for watching and you know uh just want to tell you how much i appreciate all of you guys honestly so to win this bow tie all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button if you're not already turn on your bell notification so you don't miss on any uploads also Follow me on Instagram at Achola's Closet and then comment below when you're done so I can enter your name for the draw. Now the winner I will announce in the next video and I'll also post the winner on my Snap, my Instagram and my Facebook. I don't use Snapchat as much. Um, good luck to you. And I will see you guys in the next video.